and this is Tech Tip Tuesday about anti-roll bars. This is an M3 E92 tubular anti-roll bar. It's tubular because it's a lot lighter than a solid bar and has the added feature of being adjustable. This enables you to change the balance of the car from understeer to oversteer based on whatever your other suspension parts are in your car or a wheel and tire combination that you're using. Another unique component of the Dynan anti-roll bar is the sway bar links that come with it. Rather than using the stock links, we make these links that are adjustable in length. The reason we do this is an anti-roll bar is an overall torsion bar. Most people think that you have to have the sway bar adjustment in the same hole on both sides, but you don't. The sway bar bends, okay, and if the bar is shorter, it bends less. So it doesn't make any difference if one end is on the middle hole and the other end is on the full stiff hole, the overall stiffness of the bar still changes. But what does happen is because of the angle of this end, the sway bar link will then preload the bar. So you have to have the ability to adjust the link longer or shorter in, or in order to get the preload out of the bar to move all these to all these positions. So this enables you to have five different stiffnesses of the sway bar instead of three. That's the whole point behind creating these links.